Hey, it's Matt from RoboFlow. I'm excited to talk to you today about Apple's new silicon chip, the M1, and what it means for you doing machine learning. After Apple released the computer with the M1, I went to the nearby Apple store to pick it up because we wanted to see how the M1 chip performed compared to the Intel-based 13-inch MacBook Pro. To compare performance, we used CreateML to tackle a no-code object detection problem. If you haven't used CreateML before, it's an Apple developer tool that allows you to build machine learning models without writing any code. If you'd like to recreate what we did, look in the video description down below. We've got a link to a tutorial. We used the Microsoft COCO or Common Objects in Context object detection data set, which contains over 121,000 images. This data is downloadable over the internet. You can just Google it. I used RoboFlow to export it in the specific format that is required by CreateML. Once we had downloaded our data, I used CreateML to fit a YOLO V2 object detection model. Now, something to note, YOLO V2 was at the time the best available model in CreateML. And as of this recording, it still is that best model. However, most people prefer using the scaled YOLO V4 model in practice these days because it is the current state-of-the-art model with, with respect to both speed and accuracy. We have a tutorial on how to fit that scaled YOLO V4 model as well if you want to check out the description below the video. We took the YOLO V2 model in Create ML. And we fit that model on our 121,000 images from the COCO dataset for 5,000 epics and with a batch size of 32. After fitting the YOLO V2 model in Create ML to our COCO dataset on both the computer containing Apple's new M1 chip and my current MacBook Pro containing the Intel Core i5 chip, we can do a direct comparison between them. So how did they compare? Well, the Intel Core 5 computer on the CPU took 542 minutes to fit. The Apple M1 on the exact same task took 149 minutes. It utilized a little bit less than 10% of the GPU as this was being fit. So based on these numbers alone, the Apple M1 computer was 3.64 times as fast as the Intel Core i5 was on this object detection task in Create ML. Now, that isn't the only comparison that we did. We also checked the Apple M1 chip against an Intel Core i9 with Radeon Pro GPU. The Intel Core i9 with GPU outperformed both the Intel Core i5 and the Apple M1. On the same exact task, fitting 121,000 images on, from the COCO dataset with a YOLO V2 model and letting that model iterate for 5,000 epics, the Intel Core i9 model with Radeon Pro GPU only took 70 minutes to fit that same model meaning that the Intel Core i9 model with the Radeon Pro is about twice as fast as the M1 and around six times as fast as the Intel Core i5 with CPU. We imagine that as Apple continues to iterate on the M1 chip and optimizes its software, for example, fully utilizing the GPU, that we'll see an improvement in the M1 performance. However, at the moment, there are softwares that aren't updated to be compatible with the M1. So you may at this moment be better off with a powerful GPU than going with a new laptop. However, the decision is of course up to you. And there are all sorts of things to consider when you are looking at potentially buying a new laptop. And there you have it. We did a benchmark looking at the Apple M1 computer chip and comparing that to the Intel Core i5 and the Intel Core i9 with GPU. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. 
Be sure to hit the subscribe button below. We have new videos that come out every single week with tons of tutorials as well as fireside chats that already exist and are ready for you to dig into. Thanks everybody.